What's up, Fit Body Nation? So welcome back to our Wednesday workout. Look who I found. She's gonna be joining us today. So we're covering full body today. So that means that you're gonna need one thing for this workout, literally one thing. You're gonna need a dumbbell. Just one though, okay? You don't need a whole set. I'm actually going with a heavier dumbbell today, a 30 pound dumbbell. Sarah's gonna be using a 10 pound dumbbell, but we're gonna cover upper body. We're gonna cover lower body, and we're also gonna cover abs today, so full body. Now, if it's your first time to this channel, I wanna be the first one to welcome you. My name is Trainer B. I'm Coach Sarah. This is a place where we like to do high energy home workouts, but we're a little bit different on this channel. We do something called the Home Fitness challenge and that's where we take 16 challenges that you can do at home you get points for completing them and those points put you on a live leaderboard and compete against myself you can compete against coach Sarah and you can also compete against the fit body nation all over the world so with all that being said let's get today's workout started we have four circuits inside those four circuits we have four exercises but those four exercises we'll spend 30 seconds a piece on and we go through those circuits for three total rounds. In between each circuit, we will rest for about 90 seconds. That's gonna give you enough time to catch your breath and me enough time to explain the next four exercises to you. We're gonna start with our warm up. We'll do a warm up for two to three minutes. Then we'll take about a minute to rest. I'll explain the first four exercises and then we're gonna be going fast and furious into today's workout. I hope you're ready. Are you ready? Ready. Let's do this, let's do this. I'm gonna start the timer and we're gonna rock and roll. All right, we're gonna start this with a jog. So a light jog in place just to get the blood flow going. Hopefully you're having a rocking Wednesday today, whether it's early in the morning and you're just starting or it's later in the day or the evening, you know. Hopefully you had a good day today. Okay, so we're gonna get this going. Now, my biggest focus is really getting my legs loosened up. Like I said, Monday's workout absolutely annihilated my hamstrings. They're so stinking tight, but that's okay. I know they're gonna loosen up, so feeling good though. All right, come on, let's get this going. Let's go ahead, let's pick our pace up a little bit. I don't wanna waste too much energy in the warm up. I like to save most of it for the workout itself. You know the routine if you're part of this community. But if you're brand new, I don't like to completely annihilate it. Okay, so now let's take it into the squats. These are mostly for me. Here we go. Woo! Oh, there's the burn. That's it. Okay, so we're going to get these squats in here. Since it is full body, it makes sense. There we go. Once we get through these squats, we're going to take it into jumping jacks. Good, you got it. And then we'll make sure we get some push-ups in there, maybe some planks, maybe some sit-ups, kind of get the blood flowing over throughout the entire body. There we go, good. That's it, you got it. Weight on the heels, nice and low. Woo, there we go. Okay, come on, we're gonna do about 10 more seconds on this, a couple more reps. From this, we're gonna take it into jumping jacks. So, right into jumping jacks now. Again, just a moderate pace. You don't have to go super fast. Nothing like that. Good. You got it. That's it. But this is going to be a fun workout today, but it'll definitely be a challenging workout. I can guarantee you, okay? It will be a tough one, but you're going to make it through. And like always, you're going to love the results in the end. Here we go. Good. Let's keep on moving. Don't stop. That's it. Now about 10 more seconds, we're going to go ahead and we're going to drop it down to push-ups. In 5 more seconds, 3, 2, 1. Let's go ahead, let's take it down. So now, I want you to do these push-ups on your knees. I don't care how advanced you are, I want you to do them on your knees. Good, so down and up, down and up. Perfect. So not too fast on this, just enough to get a little bit of blood flow into the chest, shoulders, the arms. There we go. Down, up, down, up. Keep on pushing. That's it, we got it, don't stop, come on. All right, a few more. Yeah, let's do five more seconds. It's gonna be a little bit warmer, longer warm up than I said. And let's go ahead, let's lock it out to a front plank. We're gonna hold this for about 20 seconds. Nothing too crazy. But focus on good form, so keep your butt down, keep your head up. 
There we go, 10 more seconds. From this, we'll be finishing the warm up. That's all we'll be doing for our warm up. Good, in five, four, three, two, one, relax. Okay, so make sure you got a dumbbell, the one dumbbell I specifically said in the beginning. We're gonna be starting off with it right away. So, I'm going to explain the first four exercises to you. So the first exercise, if you follow me on Instagram, you saw this one the other day. It's the first time I ever did it, trying out some exercises. So, here's what we're gonna be doing. The very first one, we're gonna take the dumbbell in our left hand. You're gonna do a push-up with a row, a push-up, take the right hand, reach forward, push-up, row with the left hand, push-up, reach forward with the right hand. We'll do our full 30 seconds on that left arm with the dumbbell. Then we're gonna do a bear push-up with a straight body push-up. We got a lot of push-ups right off the bat, okay? So a bear push-up, knees and body is in a squared position. You do the push-up here, kick your feet out, push-up. Bring your knees back in, push-up, kick them out, push-up. All right, your hands will stay in position the whole time. After we finish that, we're going back to that row but with the opposite hand, so the right hand. So you'll push up, row, push up, reach forward, all right? Then our last one is gonna be a half burpee. So for that one, we'll do the push up, boom, right there. Bang down, right there, all right? So we're probably gonna do about 557 push ups right in the first circuit, but it'll totally be worth it. We're gonna get these guns. All right, so let's go ahead. Let's get in position, so grab your dumbbell, find your favorite spot on your mat. We're going to be starting out dumbbell in your left hand. Remember, push up row, push up reach. All right, so here we go. You don't have to go fast on this, just a good moderate pace because we're going to be doing a ton of push ups. Now, you can modify just like Sarah's doing. She's on her knees doing the push ups. That is totally fine with the modification. There we go. Good. So, nice and slow on this. We're gonna bring our heart rate up. We will get exhausted doing this, but we're gonna build the muscle, get the strength going. There we go, come on. We'll be warriors tonight. All right, so move the dumbbells. So start with a bare push-up. Okay, body uh, squared up, push-up, kick your feet out, push-up. Feet in, push-up, feet out, push-up. Just like that. Again, this first round, we're not gonna fly through it. It's our learning round. The second round, we'll go a little bit faster, but not too much. That's it, good. All right, get your dumbbell ready. Right hand now, back into that push-up row. And then the push-up and the reach. Good. Push-up row, push-up, reach. We got half burpees next. Continuing with our lovely push-ups. If you don't like push-ups, I'm sorry. <laughs> You're gonna get them in today. Here we go. But at least it's not all upper body. All right, move your dumbbell. So start with a push-up. Land on your heels. Kick your hands out. Only the half burpee. Make sure you sit back on your heels. There you go. You got it. Good. See if you lean forward on your toes. When you do squats like this, it puts all the pressure in your knees. So you always gotta focus on trying to land back on your heels. It makes you squat deeper, but it'll save years on those knees. All right, relax, we got 30 seconds. We didn't die on the first one. Okay, gonna be going back to the next one. I already got a pump going. That's why I wore my tank top today. Let those guns free. Whoo! All right. 14 seconds. That rest goes by way too fast. All right, push up row, starting back in the left hand. We've got about five seconds. Whoo! Ready for this, Sarah? Yeah. All right. Let's rock. So this time, we go a little bit faster, as long as your form is nice and clean. Not too much, though. Just get a push up row, push up reach. There we go. Now I like to still keep my hands about shoulder width apart on this. I keep my feet a lot wider than that, but I keep my hands about shoulder width. That way it kind of isolates the movement a little bit more in the shoulders. Good. Come on. 
All right, we got our bear push-up starting out. So body squared up, and then a straight body push-up. Good. Here we go. Now, there really isn't a modifier for a bear push-up, but when you do the straight body push-up, you can go ahead and go back to your knees if you need to. Okay? Doing good. I know you're getting that pump going. Those muscles are growing. They're getting stronger. All right, dumbbell in your right hand. Let's keep on going with it. Push up. Get that row. Everything you got. Push up, reach. Good. Come on. I know we're going to be tired. We're going to feel it. We're going to be sore, but it's good for us. Result will be awesome. That's it. All right, half burpees. So here we go, get the push-ups first. Land back on those heels, kick the hands out. Push-up, hands out. Now remember, once we finish these right here, we got one more round, and then we're gonna be going to legs. We won't be doing any more upper body with today's workout. So, I know it burns, kinda sucks, but you're almost there. Alright, relax. 30 seconds. Fastest 30 seconds ever. Whoo, so get a quick drink of water if you need it. <sighs> I'm definitely feeling it. I'm not sweating yet though. Hey, sir, sweating, sir? Are you sweating? Alright. We're not either. I have a feeling it's about to start though. Alright, 10 seconds. Let's get this last set of all these push-ups out of the way. Let's make them look good. Let's intimidate the push-ups. Alright. So here we go, push up, row with the left arm, push up, reach forward, push up, row with the left arm, push up, reach forward, push up, row, push up, reach forward, very good, push up, row, push up, reach forward, <laughs> ah, we're going to have to get crazy before this one's over, Woo. All right, get those bear push-ups. So start with the bear. Kick the feet out. Regular. Bear. Feet out. Regular. So going through the bear push-up, that one really puts a lot of focus in on those shoulders and on the triceps. And then the regular push-up really puts a lot of focus on the chest. Oh, here we go. Come on. Good. Oh. All right, here we go. Get that dumbbell to that right hand. Whoo, push up, row. Push up, reach forward. There we go. Now, we've only got about 40 seconds left, and we're gonna be at our long rest. So we're almost there. Come on. You got this, Sarah. Whoo, that's it. Keep moving. We're going hard today. Making this Wednesday count. All right, half burpee, start with the push-up. You know the drill. That's it, good. Come on, here we go. Excellent. Perfect. We got a long rest coming up in about 12 seconds. Whoo, gotta enjoy that. That's always a happy thought. Here we go. Come on, get one more rep. All right, so we've got 90 seconds. Catch your breath, get some water, tie your shoes. I'm gonna explain the next four exercises. We're gonna start, it's gonna be legs, but there's certain amounts of speed and momentum you gotta put into this to make it all legs or it will turn into some upper body. So the first one is going to be a full extension squat jump. You're gonna squat down, touch the ground with your fingertips, full extension overhead plus the squat jump. So you're not just jumping, you're reaching overhead. After that, we're going to do a clean and press. So for this one, you'll keep your dumbbell literally under your crotch. If it's out in front of the body, you will have a hard time with this and could get injured. So the dumbbell's in the center of your body underneath you. You're gonna reach down, you're gonna pull it up to your shoulder, you're gonna squat deep and press. Now, using your squat momentum, is what's gonna take the momentum of the weight over your head. 
If you notice you're using a lot of strength in your shoulder to press, then you're not squatting fast enough, okay? You should literally be driving that weight up. All right, so we'll do 30 seconds on one arm. Then we're gonna do a wall sit. We're gonna keep the dumbbell we used for the clean and press though. And you're gonna just keep it in your lap, hands off of it, all right? Then we're gonna stand up. We're gonna do the same clean and press on the opposite side for 30 seconds. So this one is gonna work the legs, but it's also going to raise your heart rate up a lot. So we got about 15 seconds before we start, so let's get ready. So move your dumbbells out of the way if they are in your way for the squat jump extensions that we're about to do in eight seconds, so get ready. Remember, reach down, fingertips, they touch the ground. Keep the weight on your heels. Two, one, here we go. So down, full extension, overhead. All right, this is technically a proper squat jump. Good, there you go. 20 seconds left. Make sure you're trying to touch the ground every time. Fully extend overhead. I know your arms are probably tired from the work you just did, but that's okay. They should be tired. And squat down. Don't just bend at the back and reach down. Make sure you're squatting down. Three seconds. We're gonna grab our dumbbell. All right, remember, center the body, literally underneath your crotch. Right hand, here we go. Squat down, power to the shoulders. Squat, press. Right back down. Center of the body, squat, press. Good, the heavier the weight is, the more power you'll have to use, but when you're tired, it doesn't matter. All right, come on. 10 seconds left, give or take a second. We got our dumbbell, wall sits coming up next. All right, all right. So dumbbell in your lap. Let's get nice and low. Whoo, you can hold it if you need to, but if you let go of it, It'll tell you if you're low enough. Because if it rolls on your toe, you'll know you're not low enough. 14 seconds. Oh, the burn. Oh, eight seconds. We've got clean and press with our left hand next. Three seconds. And, all right, here we go, center of the body again. Squat, bring it up to the shoulder, power it up. Good, come on, bring it up. Squat, press it up. That's it. We got this. Almost there. Boom. Perfect. Let's get this. Bring it up. Squat, press. Good. Five seconds. Power it up. Squat, press. Good. All right, 30 seconds of rest. See, I went by super fast. What was your favorite exercise? Not the wall set? Definitely, that was my least favorite, for sure. <laughs> uh, okay, 19 seconds. We got the full extension squat jumps coming up. So make sure you got your dumbbells closed, but not in your way. You don't want to trip on them, especially when you start getting tired. Ooh. Definitely, feeling it. Oh yeah. All right, here we go. So squat down, touch the ground, overhead. Good, that's it. Remember to keep the weight on those heels. Try to touch the ground, both hands, every single rep. Even if you're having to slow down, we are, that's normal. That's what happens when you get tired. But you can still push 110%, giving your best effort. There we go. Come on, three seconds. We got our one arm, clean and press next. Ooh. All right, starting the right hand, here we go. Good. Come on. Use that strength, power it up. Good. Come on. We got our wall sits next. Sarah's favorite. Coming up. Almost there. Almost through the second circuit though. At least the work goes by quick. All right, here we go. Getting against the wall. And like always, if you don't have a wall, just do a squat hold but without the dumbbell. There we go. Bad thing about wearing black is you can see every little hair that sticks to you. All right, 12 seconds. Keep it tight. Whoo, my legs are shaking. Five seconds. We got clean and press on the left arm. All right, here we go. Squat down, bring it up, and 
press. Do it, you got this. Bring it up, squat, press. Good news is we got a rest coming up next. You know that's good news. Well, that's always good news. Here we go, come on. Bring it up, squat, press, 10 seconds. Let's get a couple more reps out. Whoo, good. One more rep, come on. Perfect. All right, we got one more round, and then this circuit will be done. All right, one more round. Starting back with those full extension squat jumps. Let's try to pick up our pace on this. I know Sarah and I both, we slowed down during our transitions into the clean and press. We're gonna try to go faster. I want you to try to go faster as well. Sarah's like, you can go faster. All right, three seconds. All right, here we go. Let's get these reps out. We're only human. We are only human. Superhuman. That's it. Come on. We got this. It's a good Wednesday to work out. You're alive. That's all that matters. If you opened your eyes today, it's a blessing. Here we go. 13 seconds. Come on. Let's keep working. We got nine seconds. We got our first set of cleaning presses coming up. In three seconds, let's get that transition. All right, here we go. Dumbbell to the center of the body. Squat down. Power to the shoulders. Squat deep and press. All right, come on. Squat deep and press. Good. That's it. Here we go. Squat deep and press. Whoo. All right, come on. 10 seconds. Let's get one or two more reps out. Get that wall set in. And one more set of these. All right, back to the wall. Drop it down. Oh. All right, and we got this. We're almost finished with our second circuit. 90 seconds of rest is already coming back up. And then we're gonna be going into abs. All right, some abdominal stuff, some new exercises that we haven't done before. So just hang in there, 30 more seconds with us. We got this. Whoo, not even shaking. Yes, <laughs> And transition. All right, here we go. Get that clean, squat, Press. All right. Hey, clean. Squat. Press. Good. You can do this. Shoot for four, five, six reps in that 30 seconds. Come on, last round. Make that body work. Good. 10 seconds. Here we go. Got the sweat rolling now. All right. Hey, relax. We got 90 seconds. Get you some water. I'm going to explain our next four exercises. Okay, so starting right off the bat, you will need your dumbbell, and you're going to want to set it up just like this. The first exercise we're going to do, you're going to be right here, feet off the ground. You're going to go up above your dumbbell, click your heels together, right back down. Click them, right back down. Now the goal is to keep your feet off the ground the entire time. may not happen, but that's the goal. Then we're going to grab our dumbbell. We're going to go onto our back. We're going to do one crunch. One sit up, oh yeah. One crunch, one sit up. And I want you to try to keep the dumbbell as close to your chest as possible through both those movements. After that, we're doing a leg split pipe. So for this one, you're gonna be here, you're gonna split the legs, okay? Karate chopping. <laughs> After that is gonna be a reverse plank with a pipe toe touch, okay? So for this one, you're gonna be here, now you're gonna reach up right hand to the left toe. Then you're gonna reach up left hand to the right toe. Now we'll go a little bit faster once we get comfortable with it. But by doing that reach across, it's gonna work those obliques, those love handles. So get your dumbbells stacked up. We got about 35 seconds till we start. All right, that way you know where you're gonna be sitting, where you're gonna be clicking those heels. Whoo! Now we're doing good. We're on our third circuit, so we're getting close. We got this one. This one will fly by pretty quick. It's abs. It'll be tough, but it won't kill us. And then our last circuit, it'll be the most difficult as far as speed goes because it's all calisthenics, but the exercises aren't that difficult. All right, I don't want to scare you too much, so I'm going to shut up right there. All right, so ab, leg, sweep, heel clickies. That's what I'm going to call this, the heel clicky. All right, three seconds. All right, so click the heels. Don't let your feet touch the ground. You're also slightly leaning back, just like if you were doing a Russian twist, so that way you're keeping 
The lower abs worked and engaged the whole time. Now, if you need to rest, you can put your feet on the ground, but we're going to attempt this version right here, at least the first round. Now, we got our dumbbell crunch with the sit-up next, so you'll grab the weight that's in front of you right now. we got five seconds. All right. If you have your dumbbell, whatever size you're using, we're going to do one crunch, one sit-up. Try to keep the dumbbell as close as you can. It may get a little ways out from the body. That's normal. Ugh. But use those ab muscles as much as possible. After we get through this one, we're going to be doing the leg split pipe. Okay? Ooh, there we go. Good. This one may be slow. That's okay. But using the weight, you're building the muscles. So set your dumbbell down. And remember, hands behind your head. Split. Right back down. Split. Right back down. Good. Woo. That's it. Come on, we got this. Good. Keep moving. Keep working. Perfect. And we got our reverse planks coming up. Oh. Alright, so this one, kind of that crab position right here. Now remember, reach up, right hand, left foot, left hand, right foot. You still want to keep your hips up slightly on this. They're not going to be up as much as they would with like a tabletop exercise, but and make sure you take that elbow back slowly. You don't want to just slam your hand back and put all the weight on it. All right. That's not good for the elbow. Whew. There we go. Reach up, touch. Good. And also the higher you're kicking that foot up and reaching, the more you're going to get out of your obliques with that. So first circuit's through, or first round is through. Going back into our clickies, our heel clickies. All right, so get that dumbbell, stack back into position, back on your butt, try to keep those feet off the ground, leaning back slightly. Feeling all right? Yeah. All right, feeling all right on that end? Perfect. All right, here we go. So, my legs got shorter. <laughs> dumbbell was farther away. There we go. Good. That's it, you got it, come on. Bring them up. Second round is going to be a little bit harder. Just thought of another exercise while doing this one. I'm going to have to write it down before I forget it. Good. You can do a leg click, heel, knees in. There we go. Click, oh, knees oh. in. Ooh, that makes it a lot harder. i got to remember that. Another original exercise. Three extra uh, seconds. All right, grab your dumbbell. Got to crunch with a sit up. Here we go. So crunch it up, then a sit up. Ooh, feel those muscles working. Crunch, sit up. Good. If you need to, you can lock your feet under a couch or something like that. Make your kids sit on your feet. Whatever you got around. Good. Come on. You got it. Four seconds. So set your dumbbell down. All right, we got the leg split pipe now. So split. Bring the legs back down. Bring them up. Split the center. Right back down. It's kind of a wide full pike. Ooh, or a wide leg full pike technically. Ooh. Here we go. Feel that burn? This hits right in the center. Right in the middle of those abs. Not quite the lower. Not the upper. Right in the middle. Alright, reverse plank. Really get that foot up high this time. Just kick it up high. Reach up. And bring that elbow back nice and soft. That hand back nice and soft. Good. Come on. Reach up. Touch that toe. Here we go. Good. Almost there. You can do it. We only got one more round after this. Here we go. Okay. Whew, shake it off a minute. Get your dumbbell back in position. Don't take too much time there. All right, last set of our heel clickies. Those leg split pipes, those are the hardest for me. Those are, those are hard on the, the groin joint right there. Okay, 10 seconds till we start. Last round on this, and then we'll have our final circuit coming up, Woo! which is going to go by super fast. We're almost there. Here we are, here we go. All right, clickies. Clicky, clicky, clicky. Here we go. Let's see how many reps we can get. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, 
14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Keep hanging with us. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28. Oh, the burn. All right, grab your dumbbell. Crunch with the sit up. Ooh. Crunch. Sit up. Oh, yeah, there we go. Feeling that lactic acid burning those abs. I know I am. They're definitely cramping up, but that's good. It means they're working. Come on, we got this. 10 seconds. Come on. Oh, we got our legs, split pikes coming up. Sarah's favorite. All right, dumbbell down, put your fingers. All right, here we go, here we go. Split them. Woo. Yep, definitely not moving as fast on these. But the burn is there. Good. Whew. Come on. You got this. That's it. Don't stop. Keep working. All day, every day. Ooh. Come on. Four seconds. Then we got our last exercise. All right. Come on. Tabletop with those toe touches. To think about which which hand and right. leg to use the first Definitely time. Definitely want to use the same side. <laughs> You'll go down quick. Whoo! Now these have slowed down a little bit. I still feel the crunch. Good. That's it. Come on, we got this. All right. So we got 90 seconds. We got our last circuit coming up. I'll be fast to explain this one. All right, so get ready, grab some water if you need it. I'm gonna explain them. All right, so for this final one, kick your dumbbells out of the way. You don't need them. You're just gonna get in your way. But here's what we got for the last one. This is all calisthenics, all cardio, fast pace. And we got a lot of high knees in it. So the first exercise is gonna be a quick feet. Hopefully our feet work for this. But you're gonna be right here. When I say quick feet, you do quick feet. When I say high knees, you're going into a high knee. Now the goal is to get those knees up, which is gonna be hard because we just got done doing abs that really focused on the groin and the hips in there, okay? And I know they're tired, but you wanna get the knees up. The second exercise is gonna be a burpee with a high knee. Same thing goes, I'll call the high knees and I'll call the burpees. So you just listen for when to move to what exercise. The third exercise will be a four count jumping jack with four count high knees. I'll let you count your own on that so that way you don't have to listen to me yell at you. And then the last one is gonna be sprinter knees, which is the same high knee movement, but you're going just as fast as your legs will go. All right, so we've got 35 seconds till we start this insanity. So fist bump for you, fist bump for your dedication. We're gonna make it, I promise, okay? We're almost there. 25 seconds. Give it your best, even if it turns into a slow jog. Give it your best on this. All right, we're going to start with the quick feet right off the bat. So you do quick feet until I say high knee, and then you do high knees until I say quick feet. I'm a little scared of those last sprinter knees. They're going to look rough. They're going to look sloppy. I can, I can already tell it. But we're going to burn calories. Okay. All right, quick feet. Here we go. Come on. Let's get them. Let's get them going. We've got this. It's our last round. We've got to be warriors in this. We've got to push through. Give it our best. And high knees. And remember, get the knees up. That's the goal. Not how fast. Just get the knees up. And quick feet. Come on, come on. Focus on your breathing. Most of them are getting crazy. Getting psycho. You're going to make it. High knees. That's it. Five seconds. Come on. Keep them going. Straight into it. Keep the high knees going, keep them going, keep them going, keep them going. Now burpee, all the way down, push up, get that jump in there, back to high knees. Oh, there we go, burpee. Back to the high knees. Come on, burpee. That's it, come on. Back to those high knees. There we go. Next coming up is going to be our jacks with the high knees. Four count, and start with jumping jacks. You count, one, two, three, four. High knees, one, two, three, four. You're counting your own on this one. I'll give you a little bit of silence for myself. <sighs> kind of, <laughs> not really. Here we go. 13 seconds and we got sprinter knees, which is a super fast high knee. 
Do it. You can do it. Almost there. All right, spread your knees. Come on. Don't even worry. Keep your head down. Tunnel vision in. Come on. You got this. Match my pace. Match my pace. You match my pace. Come on. Don't worry about the time. It's going to go just as fast. Come on. Dig deep. Dig deep. Dig deep. Push. Get those knees up. Fast. Crank the arc. Crank the arc. Crank the arc. Almost there. Don't worry about the time. Come on. Come on. Keep working. Hey, relax. All right. 30 seconds. First round sucked. Second round's going to suck. Third round, we may all pass out. If we don't, it's going to suck. All right. We got quick feet coming back up. Since I know Sarah's tired, I'm going to let her make the calls on. Oh, thank you. <laughs> all right. So listen to her say quick feet and high knees. And continue your quick feet on through the, the 30 second time. Remember, it's four count, four count. Come on, you got this. Keep working. Keep pushing. We're going to sprint our knees coming up. It's going to suck. I'm going to push you. All right. Come on, face me. Face me. I don't want to look at the time. I don't want you looking at the time either. I'll tell you when to stop. Keep going. We're going to start off with this pace. We're going to get faster. Sarah's okay. watching me. You're watching me. Here we go. Here we go. Get those knees up. Crank the arms into it. Keep your head up. Come on. Chest up. Slow your breathing down. You got this. We're going faster. Don't worry about the time. We're looking. Neither are you. Let's go. And relax. Good. See, you made it. No big deal. Okay. We got one more round. Final one right here. And then we can pass out. We got 20 seconds till we start. Get ready. Last round. Can't even talk anymore. Last round. Last You're round. You're calling it this. Oh, I got it. I got it. All right. Whew, 10 seconds. We got this. We got this. We're earning it today. We're definitely earning it. I told you, five, 600 Last calories. Last round. All right, quick feet. Here we go. High knees. Let's go. Quick feet. High knees, come on. Quick feet. High knees, come on. Let's hustle, let's hustle, let's hustle. Quick feet. High knees, come on. Quick feet. No time to think. High knees, let's go. Quick feet. Ooh, I got side stitch like I'm a PE again. High knees, come on. Hey, straight into high knees. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Come on. And burpee. Oh, yeah. Here we go, high knee, baby. That's it. Burpee. Here we go. Burpee. We're almost there. That's it. Love the pain, love the burn. Burpee. We're gonna four count jacks next. All right, jacks. One, two, three, four. One, two. Three, four, one, two, three, four. Let's go. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. 
One, two, three, four. Almost there. One, two, three. Spread the knees. Look at me, look at me, look at me. Let's go. Come on. Nice spread. Everything you got, everything you got left in the team. That's it, that's it. Get serious with it. Come on. Don't look at the time. Don't look at the time. Watch us. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Get those knees up. Crank them out. Don't look at the time. I know you're tempted. We'll hear the beep when it goes up. It's only 10 seconds or so left. Keep driving deep. Faster. Come on. A few seconds. Almost there. Feel the burn. Ah. We made it. We made it. We made it. We didn't die. Before we do die, let's get our flex finisher in here. Ah. Ah. All right. Fit Body Nation, we made it, you made it, I made it, Sarah made it, we all made it. Let's give ourselves a group hug. We earned uh, it. We did awesome today. So, hopefully you enjoyed this workout. It was super high intensity. I know you burned some calories, got some steps in. Yeah, I got like 6,200 steps during just the workout alone. So we definitely, uh, we, we burned it, we, we earned that. Can't even talk. So, if you enjoyed this workout, Leave a like below, share it with your friends. If you hated this workout, leave a like below, share it with your friends. And most importantly to me, to Sarah, leave a comment below. We love reading your comments. Let us know where you're from. I especially love knowing where people are from all over the world. It keeps my little bubble of excitement to the max right here, okay? If you've already done that before, then tell me what your favorite circuit was in today's workout. And make sure you're doing the home fitness challenge, not those 16. Different challenges out of the way. We've only got three weeks left in a, in a workout. So make sure you're getting those out of the way. And we will see you back here on Friday. Boom! Ooh, ah. See you Friday. Oh, and subscribe if you haven't.